second row inside of the Wrangler is actually fairly spacious. Like, so I've got the driver's seat set up for myself, six feet tall. And then like realistically, like I've got a good amount of knee space, good amount of foot space. And like up overhead, boatloads, boatloads of head space. So like six, four, six, five, you'll probably comfortably be able to fit in the second row of this thing, no problem. But when we look at third, like, because we do have three seats back here, like, could you fit three full-size versions of me? It might be like a little bit tight for whoever's in the middle seat, depending on how like broad shoulder they are. But I mean, realistically, you could do it. Like you'd be able to do it no problem. Like, it's really, really straightforward there. But I mean, the seats all around, like even in these slightly different ones, they are very comfortable at the same time, which is great. But feature-wise back here, we've got a little cabin control light up overhead. We've got some different things with the door itself. And I did mention the doors in this thing, first row and second row, can be fully taken out, which is great. We've got some pockets behind the first row seats. Ooh, I love this. We've got our cup holders back here as well. Really, really nice. But this is good overall. Like I said, like the seat comfortability is fantastic. I like it. Now, if we look just behind the armrest for the first row, we've got some basic vent controls there. We've got our window buttons, so we can roll down our windows for the second row seats. And from there, we've got a few USB power points. Ooh, boatload of USB power points. So we've got two USB, two USB-C, and then there's a 115 watt traditional wall outlet back there as well. Getting into the cargo area of the Wrangler is straightforward. So we've got a little button along the back here. We're just gonna push that. Popping up in the main piece, and then our separated glass. So very straightforward to pop this thing open. You know, obviously with this thing being the four door, a little bit more space back here, but it's quite a little bit of space, which is a nice thing. Now the seats themselves, you can make it out. We've got a six, well, I guess a 40-60 split. So 40 on the driver, 60% on the passenger there. So if you need to, you can fold down one side or the other. One interesting thing. You can see that we've got two individual buttons here. So the four latches, I guess I should say, the first one is going to fold down the headrest. So we do have that option if we want to, just to fold down the headrest, or we can pull down the second one, and that's going to let us lower the seat down completely. But look at how much more that opens things up when we've got that second, uh, second row seat folded down. Now it's not a complete flat fold, but I mean, it's pretty dang close all at the same time, which is nice. Now there is one thing that's kind of unique here and that's also the flexibility to pull this down, which is gonna show us our cup holders for the second row seats when we do. It's pretty cool. All right, now looking at the cargo area itself, there's not a ton of stuff back here, but looking off to the left-hand side, we've got a 12 volt power point back here. Other than that, nothing off to the left. We've got some hooks along the floor, so different cargo hooks. Off to the right, we do have our Alpine woofer in the back here. So this one does have the upgraded Alpine sound system, which sounds incredible. Now on top of that, we've got this piece here, which is locked into place. So we lift it up and we've got a little storage tray as well, which is fantastic. We've got a little piece along the bottom here as well. We can pull out and that's gonna show us our jack stand. So if we ever need to change a tire ourselves, that's where we're going in order to make it happen. And then just easily reinstall the piece there, which is great. 